Kevin Smith, Mark Hamill, the team behind Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Clark Gregg, and many others gave a special tribute to Stan Lee at the famed Chinese Theater in Hollywood. The proceeds for that event went to the Hero Initiative, a charity to help comic creators with health expenses. However, no good deed ever goes unpunished on the internet. Bill Mayer doubled down on his blog post that he posted after Stan Lee's death in November 2018 that described comic book and superhero movie fans as children who need to grow up. Looks like someone hashtag Adalton on pop culture again. My name is CD Reimer and welcome to my channel. Please comment, like, and subscribe and click on the notification bell to see more videos like this. I will be responding to five clips from the Stan Lee editorial on HBO's Real Time with Bill Mayer. The link to that video can be found in the card above or the description below. Tonight's editorial is about Stan Lee, who, if you missed it, died in November. And a few days later, I posted a blog that was in no way an attack on Mr. Lee, but took the occasion of his death to express my dismay at people who think comic books are literature and superhero movies are great cinema, and who in general are stuck in an everlasting childhood. Bill Mayer had this segment titled Goodbye Mr. Strips, implying that Stan Lee did comic strips. Comic strips and comic books are two different art forms. Stan Lee never did comic strips that appeared in the newspapers. Stan Lee did comic books that appeared with the newspapers at the newsstand. A Spider-Man comic strip for the newspapers didn't happen until 1977, Years after Stan Lee put down his pen to run Marvel Comics. The rest of Bill Mayer's editorial makes it painfully obvious that he had never stepped inside a comic book store in his life. Let me tell you, people were pissed about this post. I wasn't even aware that I had ruffled so many capes. <laughs> <clears throat> Until I saw that 40,000 Twitter followers unfollowed me like that. That Bill Mayer lost 40,000 Twitter followers after publishing his blog posts does not surprise me. To put that number into perspective, consider Super Bowl 50 and Silicon Valley Comic Con in 2016. When Super Bowl 50 played at the brand new Levi Stadium in February 2016, 71,000 people attended the football game. When Silicon Valley Comic Con at the San Jose Convention Center met a month later, 60,000 people attended the three-day event. Both events had the same economic impact on the regional economy. Silicon Valley Comic Con is not one of the biggest Comic Cons. New York Comic Con had 250,000 people. San Diego Comic Con had 130,000 people. And Silicon Valley Comic Con had 70,000 people in 2018. And nearly half a million people attended just those three events. Most of those people were adults with money to spend on travel hotel rooms, admission and photo op tickets, and a ton of collectible swag. Another number to consider is the latest superhero movie, Aquaman, made $1 billion in worldwide ticket sales. Not a bad return on a movie that costs $160 million to make. And some people wonder why every other movie in the past decade was a superhero movie. Every superhero movie is the same thing. A person who doesn't have powers gets them has to figure out how they work, and then has to find a glowy thing. <laughs> Justice League, glowy thing. Iron Man, glowy thing. Spider-Man, glowy thing. Captain America, glowy thing. <laughs> glowy thing, glowy thing, glowy thing. I guess Bill Mayer never read the graphic novel or seen the movie called The Watchmen, when nearly all the superheroes and villains had neither superpowers nor glory things. The exception being Dr. Manhattan, who got caught in a radiation experiment that turned him into a hairless smurf. He had a glowy penny. He had a glowy penis when he was not wearing a Speedo. I saw the first 20 minutes of The Watchmen at WonderCon 2009 in San Francisco. Several people decided to cosplay or dress up as Watchmen characters like Silk Spectra and Dr. Manhattan. One man showed up as Dr. Manhattan wearing nothing but blue body paint a Speedo, and sandals. Comic cons in Silicon Valley in recent years are no longer allowing people to wear new new costumes with just Speedos or bikinis. The folks at Stan's company, Team Stan, wrote an open letter to me and said, 
You have a right to your opinion that comics are childish and unsophisticated. Many said the same about Dickens, Steinbeck, Melville, and even Shakespeare. No, they didn't. <laughs> no, no one ever said that. No one ever said King Lear or Moby Dick was childish and unsophisticated. If you ever read a book without pictures, you'd know that. Bill Mayer was wrong about Dickens, Steinbeck, Melville, and Shakespeare in terms of pop cultural history. Society today regards those authors as being worthy of reading because their novels and plays are on approved classroom reading lists. Unless you are an English major, you are most likely not going to read them on your own. Those novels and plays were often condemned by early literary critics for fictionalizing controversial events and becoming popular with the reading masses. Dixon wrote about workhouses, Steinbeck wrote about grape workers, and Melville wrote about white whales. Shakespeare stole from everyone in Western civilization for his ideas, invented new words for the English language, and became popular with the groundlings that paid a penny to stand in front of the stage because it was cheap entertainment. No surprise that Bill Mayer jumped on the culture war bad and ragged to condemn comic book and superhero movie fans. They have a special word for it now, adulting. Hey world, look at me. I just made my own eye appointment. Hashtag adulting. <laughs> Eating vegetables, adulting. <laughs> Today I wiped my own ass. <laughs> I guess I'm turning into my dad. <laughs> Bill Mayer does not understand what hashtag adulting means. That hashtag should apply to anyone who appoints themselves as an adult to put down other people as children because they do not understand today's pop culture. People who enjoy reading books and watching superhero movies are not children. They are adults who want to spend their hard-earned money on larger-than-life entertainment. Thank you for watching.